guys, my name is Pierre from KM SpiderAccessories.com. Welcome to the Spider Shop. Welcome to your Spider Shop. In today's video, oh, this is a good one. It's a long one. These videos are so hard to make. I'm talking about the stripes for your KM Spider 2020 and up. That's what we're making in this video. We're also going to have some stripes for the 2014 to 2019 RT series and the F3 2015 all the way up to 2023. In coming videos of course in this one this is a big challenge it's always hard to do such a big project and condense and make everything fit into a shorter video i'm going to do my best you guys ready i'm ready i'm motivated in three two one let's go I really picked a good day to do this project. It is not nice outside. 90 to 100% rain all day today. Show you what it looks like outside the spider shop. So we still have a lot of snow on the ground. That's probably gonna help it. It's, uh, you know, maybe 40, 45 degrees. So, you know, with the rain, let's hope that it's gonna melt some of this snow away. So today I'm gonna be working with a Marcella red color to go on my Marcella Red Spider. Simply su stunning, 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 really beautiful. And I always have a lot of stock of this because we, we're selling actually a lot more than we thought. We knew it was gonna be a success, but to this point, never expected that. So I always have like maybe 10 kits of each in stock. So here you got the Viper Red, we've got the Silver, we've got, you know, Blue Oxford, we've got a like a burnt orange right here. So always keeping stock. So this is gonna be the spider that we're working on today. It is my Marcella Red Spider. It's a lot of extra stuff on this. A lot of color match panels as well. As you can see these, I'm not sure these are up on the website. We just got them in. They look beautiful, right? So this is the kit here. It really adds to that upper top case area. And then we, we can cover the speakers here in the back. We've also got them, what we call the tank pad here. We've got the glove box compartment, the upper panels right here. We also do the side of that engine. We can even do those wheels. And if I go around this side here, you're gonna see that we've got the lower front nose right in front of those beautiful grills that we make. You've got them right here. There's gonna be two steps to getting this bike ready for this project. The first one is gonna be simply, you want uh, to wash down your Canem Spider. You don't wanna use soap that's got uh, like a, uh, a shine to it, or that's got like a wax in it. None of that goes against the principle of uh, getting the bike ready. You wanna use, once you've patted that down, you've cleaned it, you've dried it, you wanna go ahead and use uh, friction, uh, rubbing alcohol, in English you call it, rubbing alcohol, 70% is good. You wanna go all the areas that you're gonna be putting your uh, stripes uh, because you wanna take away anything that's like greasy and shiny and even the little small particles, you want none of that left there. So uh, you wanna go ahead and get that ready. Always put your, um, spray and your rubbing alcohol on your microfiber cloth. You never want to go straight to the bike. So put it on the cloth and then, then just go ahead and wash down and prep your bike. You have to know you're going to be here for a couple of hours. So this is not a project that's going to take 30 minutes. So one suggestion, go ahead, get your favorite beverage. I got myself some coffee, open up a beer, whatever you like there, whatever you fancy. We're going to be here for a while. So the success of this project, a lot of it is going to rest on the little detail. So when I say little detail and I say something, you got to get it done. You want this to go down nicely. So the first thing is about the, the area or the table, like the one I have right here, that you're going to be working on. You want to clean that up. If you have to vacuum it, use a wet rag to get all the dust. Everything that might be on that table has got to come off. You can't be in an area where you're going to have dust particles. You're going to have, uh, you know, if you're working in a, uh, a wood shop, don't do it. Don't do it. You need to have a clean, 
working space because when you're going to be taking the, the stripes off, it might create uh, some static and if you have particles of dust, it's going to stick to it. Then you try to apply it to your bike and you're pissed because you're getting a little bump and you're not getting it to lay flat. So clean, clean, clean the area where you're going to be working. The whole bike can be done without removing any panels, but there's one panel, the first one, the first piece that we're going to do, that I like to remove and simply work on my bench, make sure that everything I do is going to start off really straight. It's this panel right here. To be able to remove this panel, you're going to turn your key, you're going to lift up that seat. We're going to pull it three different places. Now the first one is where the yellow and black sticker is, there's a little place where you can get your fingers right behind it and this is where we're going to pull. After that you're going to go to the rear panel, this is where we're going to pull. Now we're going to pull at the front. You want to be careful because you've got two little plastic tabs that are underneath this panel right here. I know you've used your rubbing alcohol, you've already cleaned down your bike, but you may have particles that are flying around there if you've got the windows open and you've got air circulating. So every time you're going to do a piece, you're going to use rubbing alcohol and you're going to do it again. As we're getting ready to put the first piece, this is our first piece, you're not going to go ahead and take it off the white paper and stick it straight here. You're going to cut around it, leaving the white paper underneath it. We're going to do a rough job with the utility knife. And after that, we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut it nice and even all the way around. And now we're going to put it on our part, on our panel, and we're going to see how it fits. So what you're looking for when you finished up with the scissors is to leave a little bit of white paper all the way around like this, a couple of millimeters, maybe about, you know, one sixteenth of an inch to one eighth of an inch. And that's going to allow you to center this easier on your panel. So this panel doesn't move around on you. I, I had like a battery here that's about four inches high. I went ahead and put that there. So when I put down my panel, my work table, it makes it more stable and the panel is not going to move around too much. If you got some painter's masking tape, that's going to be very useful. This is the time where we start moving around the stripe. And what you want to do is you want to start at about an eighth of an inch from the ledge here. And then you want to center it equal spacing from here to there and from there to there. And you can start playing around with it a little bit, see how it's going to line up. You can go ahead and get yourself a piece of masking tape ready to go. Once you got your spacing here to there, you're happy with that. Follow the stripe all the way down to the back here. And if that's center and that looks good to your eye, now here's the time where you're going to use this masking tape and just make sure nothing moves. If you don't have a spatula like this one here, then you can go ahead and use anything like a credit card, debit card, and a little bit of these uh, blue shop rags here that you can pick up usually at Costco or Walmart, any uh, automotive parts store. It's going to do a good job as well. I've put another piece of masking tape here, leaving me with a smaller part to work with, which is going to make things a lot easier. We're going to separate the stripes, the sticker, from the white paper in the back.
we're going to do the installation of this small piece right here. It is a small piece, so we'll take it right off, and then we'll be able to set it exactly where it needs to go. Same thing for this one, we're going to take it right off and install it right here. The trick for this piece here, and any piece that's narrow and long, is when you start it off and you decide exactly where you want to go, let's say here I've got a half an inch between here and there, so I push down my corner. As I'm stretching out this piece, it's like a carpet that you're unrolling, right? I'm always looking on the left-hand side, not looking on the right-hand side. I'm looking here so I can keep that half inch spacing all the way through. For this stripe here, we're going to line ourselves up with this line right there. And then we're going to look at the spacing we have from there to there. And then we're going to keep that spacing as we're going forward with that stripe. You can see exactly where these two are going to go. And I'm going to start off by doing the red one and going to do the black and gray one straight after. <laughs> 